any comment about the restitution amount order? Any comment about what you did with the items that were in the victim's house, Mr. Muhammad? trespass case, Carl, where uh, two people, Mr. Muhammad, who's a career criminal, and his sister, Miss Fretwell, decided they were going to move into someone's house without permission. Our real victim here was an elderly resident of our county whose granddaughter and family moved her into an assisted living facility a few years earlier. She still owned the home. It was run by her granddaughter, who was her power of attorney. Most of her important items were boxed up. The home was locked up, and heat was turned off, and electric was turned off. It was basically a winter home that was sitting there uh, without a resident. These two broke in and resided there, we believe, for at least four to six weeks. They took numerous items, made changes to the house, and today we had a hearing on restitution where the victim's granddaughter was able to recount about 20 or 22 different important and valuable items that her grandmother did have that were missing. They are both squatters and thieves. Uh, they squatted in the home and, and used it as a place to live, but they also stole all the items that were in the home, and whether they sold them or trashed them or bartered them, we don't know. What we do know is that numerous, numerous items from, from the victim's life, from her deceased husband's life, from her kids' and grandkids' lives, mementos both with real value and, and non-real value, the type of value like the flag that the granddaughter talked about. Her grand father was a veteran and he got a flag obviously at his funeral which was framed and when she arrived at her house she saw that it had been strewn in the driveway like it was trash so this was a case that had both a financial toll and an emotional toll this is carl hessler jr reporting for digital first media from the montgomery county courthouse in Norristown.